Okay, so this is a 1995 F-150 5 liter V8 with an automatic transmission and this truck is in the early stages of computer failure. Now these trucks use an EEC4 uh, which Ford started using in the 80s when they first introduced fuel injection and they used it all the way up through 1995 on the uh, lighter duty trucks and on heavy duty trucks all the way through 97. Uh, they only stopped using them when they phased them out in favor of the EEC5 um, to meet OBD2 requirements. Um, but uh, this truck is starting to exhibit some symptoms of uh, early computer failure and I figured I'd make a quick video about it because um, it's something that you could easily uh, miss or overlook until one day the computer just dies completely and then you're left stranded because when the computer dies on these things there's no hope of getting it started. So uh, what it is is when you turn the key on but don't start the engine uh, the fuel pump will usually run for a second or two um, to prime the system. Now. This should do it because what this one's doing is it's exhibiting these symptoms when the uh, when the truck is cold. And when I say cold, I mean it hasn't been running for a while. It really doesn't matter about the actual temperature. So we'll see if it does it. So we'll just turn the key on without starting it. And you hear the fuel pump. It's just running continuously. Now we'll probably stop here in a minute, but when you first turn the key on, but don't start the truck, it should only run for a few seconds at most. Then it'll stop. When the computer starts to fail, it does this. Now let's go ahead and see if it'll start. Okay, it did start that time. And sometimes this truck just plain won't start. And which is why it came here in the first place. So we'll shut that off. Now the reason the fuel pump running too much when you first turn the key on is because the fuel pump is actually uh, switched on via the fuel pump relay which is commanded directly from the uh, EEC. Now when the EEC starts to fail for some reason one of the most common symptoms is that it will run the fuel pump for too long. Often uh, if you have a truck where you turn the key on and the fuel pump just runs constantly and it doesn't even attempt to start when you crank it uh, often that's a pretty sure sign of computer failure. In fact, that's what my truck did um, when it first, uh, when the computer went out on it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and bring you over here and so you can see what it's supposed to sound like. Okay, so we're here in my truck. It's a little dirty right now. This is a 1994 Bronco, same engine, uh, might be a different transmission, but these trucks pretty much shared most components uh, between them. So, I'm going to turn this on and you can, hopefully you'll be able to hear the fuel pump prime. Can you hear that? Let me try it again so you can, uh, just in case you didn't hear it. You hear the fuel pump only runs very briefly. It doesn't run continuously when you turn the key on and don't start it. It's not until you actually crank the truck that the fuel pump will kick back on. Uh, and start uh, running to supply fuel to the engine. So back to the F-150. We'll just try it again just to see what it does. Because uh, usually what will happen is it will run pretty much constantly uh, at first and then eventually it will start acting normal again. So we'll just see for the heck of it what it does. And it's still running constantly. Oh, there it goes. See, so we'll try it again. See, it's starting to act more normal now. See, now it's acting the way it should act, but um, there's really no explanation for why the fuel pump will prime for way too long unless your computer is starting to go out, which is which I believe it's what's happening with this truck. This truck will eventually need a new computer. Uh, for the time being, it's okay, but eventually it'll get progressively worse and worse until the computer dies altogether. The uh, EC4, it, it's a pretty durable computer, but um, you know, once these trucks start to get this old, this is a uh, this truck is over 20 years old now. Um, they do have some electrolytic capacitors in there, which will fail with age, 
plus just wear and tear on the electrical components. So um, we are starting to see uh, some failures of the C4 uh, now. So it's, it's not that surprising, but it really does suck. This is like a couple hundred dollars for the part. Uh, I think it's like a hundred to two hundred dollars to get an EEC, uh, EEC4 remanufactured. That's once you've turned in the core. So unfortunately, there's, there's no way around it. It'll die eventually and leave you stranded. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So if you've got a fuel pump that's priming for way too long, keep an eye on it because eventually it could get much worse.